These folks we are about to speak to are the folks that we least speak to on a daily. Now, they are the ones who get us ready for our events. They get us glammed up to show up for the cameras and all that. So, on my screen, I have CJ Mikova. She's a celebrity makeup artist. I have celebrity barber, Nikki, all the way from the United Kingdom, joining us for a conversation. And then I have uh, Chocolate, for those of you who visit events and post for photos. Uh, Chocolate is one of the photographers you find at events. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen thank you so we, we haven't spoken to you guys about the effect of the lockdown nikki is in the united kingdom they are still on lockdown uh fortunately for us here in ghana uh it has been lifted so we have a bit of freedom and so we we'll first talk about the effects that the lockdown had on your jobs and i want to start with you cj because you're the lady uh i know that you make up a lot of celebrities Tell me how difficult it is for you, or it's been for you, during the period of lockdown. Okay, so we cannot hear CJ. CJ, we cannot hear you. Um, oh. We don't know what's wrong with your sound. But whilst you're fixing that, let's go. Speak again, let's see. Can you hear me? Now we can hear you, so go ahead. Okay, so I'm saying, due to the president's initiative, was a good one and how's it called due to the fact that events were cancelled mm -hmm. it actually affected the work as well so you didn't have people coming over for makeup and all that no, so did you have to close your studio of course of mm. course i did you didn't do private did. ones people didn't call you to their homes as well to come and make up for them or you were afraid well well people did but i was afraid so then <laughs> i didn't i didn't Me, attend to anyone. <laughs> So I'm sure you've lost some cash during the period now. Of course I did. I've lost a lot. Okay, so let's see what business used to be like for Nikki. Uh, sorry, Nikki joins us all the way from the United Kingdom. Chocolate, I'll come to you in a bit. Um, let's see what business used to be for Nikki um, as the lockdown is still on in the United Kingdom. Um, so let's speak to Nikki now. Uh, okay. Uh, Nikki. Tell me Hello. how it's been for you uh, through this period, and you're still having the lockdown out there in the United Kingdom. How have you been surviving? Um, basically, um, it, 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 hasn't, it hasn't been easy, because um, cause most of the time we are up and running, we are always busy, so this is just something new to us. We've never, none of us has been through this kind of like situation and you used yourself. to travel here and there to go back for the footballers stream the footballers uh give a haircut to all the folks out there beyond even the united kingdom um i'm sure that yeah. you have to stay put and stay at a place and close your shop as well trust me like i said before it hasn't been easy because like regularly i'm always out and about if i'm not in london i'm traveling like various countries to cut people's hair, but the problem is um, none of us were ready for this because um, we didn't know that something like this was going to happen. So it took everybody like that. And um, we have to close our shop, obviously. And like, like everybody knows, every shop has to close and you can't work. Even though you feel like, oh, there's a need for you to make some income, you're still, you're still scared. You're still taking care of yourself. So... It's been a big blow to all of us. But though the shop is closed, I guess you're still paying bills. Yeah, definitely. We have to pay bills. You see, one thing about London is they don't, they don't really care. <laughs> There's nothing like, oh, I have to pay next month or things didn't go well. Like, it's tired a bit. It's tired a bit. You have to pay your bill. You have to pay your bill. So it's hitting us really, really, really bad. But like, like you know, we do savings whilst we're working. So... We're trying to, to support ourselves, you know? Okay, so let's speak to um, uh, Chocolate now. Uh, chocolate, I know that events yeah. have been cancelled. Tell me, on the norm, yeah. what would it have been for you? How many people would have called you for their birthday shoots? How many events would you have covered <laughs> before the lockdown? Well, um, this lockdown has actually, I mean, brought some a lot of hitches because then most of uh, my, let's say, wedding gigs were cancelled, um, majority were cancelled because I had majority in, in the month of um, March and then some in February too and then April. So like most of those have been cancelled and 
you know, like day in day out, people will be calling in for shoots um, for like three uh, three weeks now. I've not done any job like just home, just home. Like, just home, but the, 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 now, now we have a bit of freedom. Have your phone? Has your phone been buzzing after the president lifted yeah. the the ban? Yeah, just like yesterday when um, that like from yesterday to today, like I've had uh, like number of calls, like people who cancel to try to like re um, make appointment for their shoes to be done. Hopefully, waiting on seeing if maybe um, there could be a need or maybe it could be there could be a chance where we can do those shoes again so yeah aren't you scared aren't you scared of you know getting to meet with these people not knowing where they have been and all that yeah yeah actually photography already uh, like established some sort of uh, social distancing when we are working already because then you have to stand afar i'll stand afar i'll just zoom to you and then i'll shoot you so mostly i've just restricted all my shoot to outdoor shoot where you can stand up fire and i'll be up fire and i'll just shoot you not really coming close to you because myself i don't want, i don't want to get close to you so like from a far week i can do my shoot because you stand up far i stand up far i shoot you then i go i send your images to you so basically those are the things that i'm trying to put in place and stuff so for studio working shoots i've tried to restrict all of those because then i feel that will bring much of like coming together and so then Every shoot has now become like outdoor shoot. For that, I think with my nose mask on and my gloves and my sanitizers, I'm good to go. Nicky talked about how, you know, he saved, you know, for a period. So he's living on his savings now that he can uh, get people to shave or go to his shop to shave people. Tell me about your situation. You're a celebrity photographer. Do, do, do you feel the drain on your pocket already? Yeah, yeah, the drain, the drain is... The, the drain is actually being filled because then now everything that I have to do has to be because then money taken out is now coming directly from your account. So you keep dwindling your account every now and then just so you can have some survivor. And like I said, for the past three weeks that this um, lockdown was established, like we were not able to work. I mean, myself and all my colleagues, we were not able to work because then our works has to do with mostly clients and individuals. So they are now we can do anyway. So every now and then you depend on your savings and your income just so you can make a living. Let me talk again to CJ. Uh, CJ, do you have workers that you've had to pay even as we've been locked down because you've hired the services and they're on a monthly salary from you? Do you have a situation like that? Yes, I do. I have two workers. So what did you do to them within this period? You asked them to go home without a pay. Tell me. Actually, well, I, 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 I actually reduced the, um, the payment. You have to reduce so your still, payment. I, yes, mm. I have to. I have to. So I, st I still pay them for last month, and I'm still going to pay them for this month as well. Tell me about the events that have been booked beforehand. Apart from the fact that you're a celebrity makeup artist, I'm sure that people book for weddings, engagement, and things, and they pay even before the D-Day. What has been the, the issue with these ones? Have you had to refund or they postpone and then you work for that day? Has that made clashes also with dates? Okay, so let me say I had a lot of bookings, of course. But normally we don't refund. But because of the situation, I have to split the money and then give them part of the money. Oh, they agreed to, to part payment? Mm-hmm. Oh, they are so yes. kind. You didn't do any job for them. Yes. How come you're paying them half no. of the money? No. Some have rescheduled. And then others too. You know, there are others too that will worry you for their money. So then I've, I, I come uh, on agreement with them that I'll give them a part payment. And then I'll also hold on to what um, the, the, the rest of the money, because of course I also have bills to pay and all that. In as much as you've paid me and I haven't worked, I, I, still, I still also need money. Do you understand? Mm. So out of that, I, anyway, we don't refund money. Since you've paid or you've booked, I don't refund the money. So what will you do so when there's a case of a clash? With all these people, because people have had to postpone or are going to be postponing, what will you do when there's a clash? Maybe A paid for 25th and now postponed to the 2nd, B paid for the 2nd, and these two are clashing on a day. So then I, I spend it. I, oh, I, I, I actually, um, 
We are losing your sound. We are losing your sound, CJ. So I'm saying that if um, if anything like that happens, I also have a colleague. So then I give um, some of the work to my colleagues. Mm. So you don't you don't have a lot of problem there. Let me go back to Nikki. Uh, at least in Ghana, we know that uh, there's just uh, a bit of freedom. Nikki, let's come back to you. You are still locked down in the United Kingdom. I, mm -hmm. I, and I'm told that until the first week of May, you guys will still be indoors. Is that what it is? Yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> we're going to be here. We're going to be indoors to the, um, to the first week of May. But meanwhile, we're still washing our hands. <laughs> we're still <laughs> we, we, we are still doing that, even though we have some freedom. Yeah, we're still maintaining all the uh, precautionary measures that we've been given. The reason I'm asking you this is... Almost every guy out there needs a shave. Just me. <laughs> I, I, are you <laughs> doing home services? Not. Are you having to dress appropriately and visit people's homes? What, what, what are you putting in place so that at least you can give those people some shave? Or you say, okay, uh, till we, it's the first week mm -hmm. of May, no show. To be honest with you, like, much as money is going, like, income also has to come in. But the problem is... You see, with our job, there's, there's nothing you can do about social distance, okay? There's nothing you can do about it. It's the opposite way to what the other guy said. I mean, the first guy said, you cannot do nothing about it. You have to get closer to the person, your client, and cut their head. And so it's a bit delicate with, with, with the barber job. Now, the problem is I've been getting so many messages, so many phone calls, to you know, do a private job, but then again, who, who are you trusting? Mm. You know, do you want to put your money before your life? You know, it's a bit delicate. Much as people are calling me, I'm also itching because I'm not used to st sitting at one place. <laughs> like everybody knows me, I'm I'm that person that goes everywhere. You know, I love that busy life. It's it's, it's nice. And so it's a bit delicate. I've been thinking about it so many times, but I'm trying to lay like marinate a bit in, in, into the mind. Maybe by next week, it's, it's going to die out a bit, and then we can take some some safety precautions and start treating people. But I so have you got your apparel yet, or you're waiting till uh, you know the 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 ban is lifted, and then you can get that? Because even after uh, you have some freedom, you don't know who is walking into your shop still. Yep. Trust me, I'm, I've been ready from the day I was born. I'm always ready. <laughs> you know me, I'm always ready. You see, it's, I have a slogan that says breaking the rules and changing the game. Mm -hmm. You have to be ready. So, if so what about, the, what, what about right the guys now, in your shop? How are, they, how are they feeling or how are they fending for themselves within this period? Did you have to pay some of them? Well, what's the agreement even as uh, you're not working? Trust me, we're all going through the same thing. So the same way I'm feeling, the same way every barber is feeling right now. So the barber industry is so different. The same way I'm feeling, the same way every barber is feeling right now. Is that going to be an increase in, in, in your, your uh, charges when, when the lockdown is lifted? Because to cover up for all that you might have lost. Unfortunately, we, we cannot do that. But of course, you see, with our work again, there's something about it. If there, there, are, there are times that people will come in and they will say, oh, I, can, I cannot wait for so long, so I'll pay you double or I'll charge, I mean, find a means to, to, to cut me quicker so I can pay you more. So if we, if we happen to do that, then we're making, we're making like some nice financial, I mean, what do you call it? We're making some money on the side. But having said that now, you cannot increase your price because, because of the um, coronavirus. Because it, 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 it has been a set price all this while, so you cannot change it. I see. Let's go back to um, quickly to you, um, Chocolate, before I go to back to CJ. Chocolate, uh, just as I asked Nikki, are we going to see a surge in the prices that you're going to be charging? Because much as you say that uh, you're not going to be in contact physically with these people you're taking photographs of, there's always yeah. going to be a situation where you're adjusting the color of your dress, uh, you're adjusting, telling, yeah. you know, trying to fix something. You know, these things yeah. come to you involuntarily. 
So are you yes, going sure, to say, sure. I'm going to wear my apparel before I take photographs and also going to say because of that, there's going to be an increase in the charges that I, I have always um, had to take. Okay, so with me, uh, my impressions are like kind of um, a little bit, uh, I'm not going to actually um, impose much increase in my price because of the situation at hand, but um, maybe one or two, sometimes there comes the need where you have to increase the price a little because sometimes you have to go do a shoot at Dodua. Mm. Go do a shoot, yeah, at a very, uh, like a, a distant place. I have to go all the way to Wah. You know, so, so if, if you're going to increase are, your charges, at what percentage yeah. is it likely to be? <laughs> Oh, that is relative. Um, my increments are kind of, let's say, relative. That, like I said, based on what I am going to do, how close, because before we take the booking, you know the kind of shoot you are going to do. You know what is going to be involved in that particular shoot. So right there, I've estimated my risk already, that that is what I'm going to do, and this is what is going to be needed. So sometimes the price increments are just kind of a little bit relative depending on where you are going, but not really like... Obviously, you, you will want to share you want to share that red card with us, but I'm sure that you're one of the people who are happy that the president has actually given us some form of freedom. Yeah, most definitely, because then um, I feel, well, let's see how this uh, freedom will also be like. Let's see, because we've, and we've been in lockdown, and, well, let's see how a little freedom will also go, because I feel... Um, with this or not, man has to leave. You understand? So then, let's see. Because then, after everything, now, now there comes the problem of clients. Because wedding dates will clash, um, a whole lot of things. So then, we're just trying to see how we're going to survive at the end of everything, like whatever happens. All right, uh, CJ, your job is quite delicate. Uh, you have to touch. While you're doing the foundation, making up people, you definitely have to touch. There's some form of touch. Is that you're touching your head, your, 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 and there's some touch, some way, somehow. How have you prepared yourself, even as we have been given some freedom, uh, to enhance the beauty of your clients, but yet still stay safe? Okay, so I disinfect myself. I hand sanitizers and I have sanitizers, I have gloves, and then I have mats outside the door. So, so before you enter, you have to sanitize, put on some mats, and then put on your gloves before you enter. And then I, I, I try, in, in as much as I get close to them, I, I try as much as I can not to get too close. Because I can actually actually work from um, 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 as a, call, a distance as well. Oh, even your distance. Yeah. You know when you're applying the foundation and all that. Oh, we lost your sound again. Can you hear me? Okay, now I can hear you. I'm saying that even much as you're you're going to like they say pull to and then work, you still will touch oh. where you're 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 doing your applying the foundation. And you see, you're using uh, almost the same things. How are your you are you um? sanitizing your brushes your uh, foundation or you're now saying i'm selling to each person you need to come with your your brush and you need to come with your puff and all that of course of course that's that's what i'm doing now that's so people I'm have doing. to come with their puff mm -hmm. oh they, come, they, they normally i, I actually I, I right now putting measures out there so i ask everyone to come with their brushes their um, products as well just to keep safe. And there are others too that you don't mind. The, the others who what? I didn't get that last yeah, bit. Yeah, they actually there are others that they don't mind using mine. So of course, after every client, I wash my brushes and I have a lot of brushes as well. So then I I I, I don't repeat same brushes on my clients. Wow, I see. And for those who do not have it, uh, you, I'm sure that you're selling to them as well. Another form of making money. Yes, of course. I sell already, so... So, it's <laughs> it's actually, you know, to some extent, you've got some blessing in disguise, eh? Of course. <laughs> because ordinarily, we won't buy, we won't buy puffs, we won't buy brushes. We'll be depending on you to use yours for us. So now you're beginning to sell to us and making extra money. Now, let's wrap up the conversation okay. with you, Nikki. Uh, what's the way forward for, for you uh, now? 
Um, at the moment, I'm just praying. I'm just trying to push. I'm not like I'm trying, but I'm praying for the days to go quick because this is the routine. Eat, sleep, watch TV, have your bath and play with the kids. That's the routine. Every time. And so, quite, quite, um, quite a boring I'm routine, that, I'm sure. Very, very boring. But whilst I'm doing that, I've got my, like I said, I've got my, 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 my gloves, my sanitizers, like, like everybody's saying, I've got everything piling up nicely. And then I'm waiting patiently because you see, there's one thing with barbers. The more we wait, the more the clients have a nice hair growth. So when you're cutting them, it's, it's, it's like Champions League. But unfortunately, that, even if the hair grows, right. you're not able to charge extra. So it doesn't, it doesn't make your pocket any better. Um, like I said to you, there's always means to make extra money because I know the way people have been waiting will be, it'll be hard for everybody to be queuing for that, that long. So either way, people will come from the side and say, okay, I want an advanced street, street uh, advanced cut or cut me VIP section. There's always means to, 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 make, to make that little money. All right. So ready. finally, we wrap up with you, uh, Chocolate. Uh, Kweku, sure. so lockdown yes. lifted. You're excited and all that. And you won't tell us about your, your rate cards and all that. This is the opportunity to see the celebrities are not going to be doing shoots. Or they have also called you. Oh, of course. You know, like I said, um, even though there was lockdown, there were a few of, let's say, private jobs that I, I was able to do one or two of those. Yeah. So for the cause they right after the uh, let's say the lockdown the lockdown was lifted i mean calls keep coming in okay can we shoot can we shoot yeah so then good uh, for you so that's all time voila well, as guys uh, we have to go thanks to you nikki speaking to us all the way from the united kingdom nikki is a celebrity barber uh, thanks to you cj makeover she's a celebrity makeup artist and also to you Kweku Chocolate, uh, he's a celebrity photographer. We talked to check up on these guys to find out the effect of the lockdown on their craft or their jobs. And also now that in Ghana we have some freedom, how different uh, it is for them. Nikki, we wish you all the best. Hopefully during the first week of May, you get to have some freedom and make some money. So thanks to you guys. We are grateful that you were able to make time to join us. Uh, Normally, we forget these folks. Yeah, we do. Know. I mean, yes. and, and to think that they're the ones who glam up people and then who capture Absolutely. these things. What are you wearing? And who are you wearing? And all of that. <laughs> Chocolate does a very fantastic job. On he that does. One. And, and I think that for all of them, people will be thinking at this point, you know, we're just discussing at the back end. If I go to the barber shop now, am I taking my own clipper? Mm -hmm. Or is the, is the barber using the, the cover cloth, the apron for me? If I go to Chocolate, for example, to take a photo, how close can he get if he mm. wants to do a close shot of me of some article of fashion I'm wearing? So it's a good conversation. Yeah, it's it, is, it, is, it is. It is. It is.